Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is going on across the tropics. And so in this video, we'll be looking at what is taking place in the Caribbean as well as the Eastern Pacific. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so we're going to be starting out with the infrared view of the region so we can see a part of the eastern Pacific as well as the western Atlantic on this map here. And so in the Caribbean, we're mainly seeing the passage of clouds, a few of those blue and green spots noted here and there indicating areas of a bit of convection. But we can see that over in the eastern Pacific, uh, there is an abundance of convective activity taking place. So for the Caribbean, there isn't too much going on and not too much is expected as we're going to be progressing throughout the rest of this week and so as for that spot over in the eastern pacific that is in association with the h or the intertropical convergence zone and we also have that surface trough and that is indicated by the orange broken line so uh, where we usually have troughs or low pressure areas there is usually activity in association with that so low pressure areas accompanies uh, convective activity meanwhile high pressure areas don't so uh, that's the reason we're seeing so much activity uh, within that region right now and also if we take a look at the sea surface temperature maps so as of the latest uh, analysis we can see here that there is that 29 degrees Celsius isotherm being seen within that region so uh, very warm sea surface temperatures at this time over in the Pacific and as I said in previous videos this year in terms of the Enso region is uh, potentially going to be an El Nino year as we progress into the latter months because uh, of the current pattern of it so there's a, we're in the neutral phase right now and so there's a chance a good chance that we could enter the El Nino phase as we progress into the end or the latter months of the year so what that means is uh, sea surface temperatures over in the eastern Pacific Pacific would be above average meanwhile maybe a bit below average for the North Atlantic so we could look for below average tropical cyclone activity in that case but of course nothing is absolutely guaranteed and we're still some time away from the official start of the season so only time will tell what is really going to be happening but as of now we have that area of shower and thunderstorm activity uh, of the Central American territories and so in terms of the total accumulated precipitation so this is between now and sunday so we can see here that we have the different colors that represent how much rainfall is expected in inches and uh we see that the greens are well under an inch of rainfall uh as we progress to the lighter blue shades we go up to 1.75 inch uh that lilac shade indicating two inches so uh we can see for the most part here that for a majority of the Caribbean, it, it uh, there isn't going to be much rainfall between now and Sunday. Maybe some brief showers here or there. But as for the uh, over in the eastern Pacific, we can definitely see uh, more of those lilac and burgundy shades indicating a lot more rainfall. But a lot of that we can see is offshore in the Pacific Ocean. But parts of northern South America are likely going to be experiencing a lot of increased rainfall as we're going to be progressing uh, throughout the next couple of days. And as for the Caribbean, uh, within the next month or two, we're going to be entering that rainy season. Uh, and usually for southern Caribbean countries such as Trinidad and Tobago, it's usually the itch, the intertropical convergence zone that helps to result in the rainy season. So as we progress to the summer months, it usually affects those areas. It increases in latitude from where it was earlier in the year. And of course, during the summer months, we have an overall increase in sea surface temperatures, which helps to induce more shower and thunderstorm activity as well. So that is really it for this update video, guys. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And so remember to always be weatherwise.